you have another piece of technology here, the galvanic testing? Correct, yeah. Uh, let's finish with that one. Talk a little bit about what that is. Okay. It's a, it's a device uh, that measures galvan galvanic readings off of a tooth. If you have a metal crown, for instance, if you use this unit, you can tell. It gives you readings of what kind of charge is coming off of that tooth, like millivolts. It also can tell you if there's any leakage around the restoration, basically from calcium ions coming off of the tooth. If there's decay or something, then ions are act actually coming off the tooth. You're leaking. It's, it's a leaky filling or crown. So I can tell you a couple of things, and it's like an early warning. This is preventative dentistry now. We're right? getting more into the preventative, yeah. So the galvanic aspect of it is comes into place where you have like dissimilar metals in proximity, like a, a silver filling next to a gold crown. Or you might have an old silver filling under your crown that wasn't removed when the crown was placed. Right. So this, this unit can read that. And it's very simple. You get, we, we include that in our, uh, in our exam for patients that come to us from you New guys, patients, right? from, from your paper. Right. We're doing that. And um, it doesn't, you know, it's quick and easy and doesn't hurt. You're not really, all you're doing is taking two little re, you know, probes and touching the tooth and the gum. Right. That's how you do it. Hmm. And we found that, that it can tell us some information you can't get in other ways, which is nice. You know, and so the, even the state of California, the dental board recognizes um, galvanic action. They mentioned it in a couple places, and so it's 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 an issue. It's it's not a big issue, but if you have other things going on, it's it, what it does. It makes the teeth, the restorations, less stable because that that charge, um, this metal, reacts with this metal and produces a bigger field, a bigger charge in that area. So if, I'm, if I have something that's leaking that the galvanic reader will pick up on, I mean, I'm not, I won't necessarily know it, right? But if I come in and find out, hey, there's an issue with this tooth, I mean, right. ultimately... Then we can talk. We then, can look. Right. So we get the information from the unit, and then we say, okay, what is something going on here? We can look right. at it a little closely. Is, is, are the edges of the restoration leaking? How bad? Right. But it gives us like a relative picture of your mouth. Right. If you have many crowns, for instance, the, these crowns all have low reading. Why does this one have a high reading? Right. Then we can look at that tooth and say, make that determination. And you can decide uh, if and when you want to do something about it. Because a lot of times it's not serious yet. Right. But you don't want to wait, you know, two, three, five years to find out. Is this will it will it pick up on issues that X-rays don't pick up on? Is that yeah, yeah, definitely will. And also, you know, if there's leakage that could turn into decay under a cap or crown, like you said, a lot of times you don't even know what's going on until you right. like have a, a root canal. Right. Because sometimes you can't see. You know, crowns hide a lot of stuff. You can't right. see underneath the crown. So it's a way to kind of um, peek under a crown subtly without having to, you know, do. It, it might tell you something that you'll be glad to know. Right. Like some of these crowns come off. There, there is leakage. There's a little decay starting. Um, we find a lot of this, you know, this problem starting out before, before it gets to be a bigger. It, it, it sounds like this is the kind of thing that will prevent me waking up in the middle of the night five years from now, screaming in pain, right? Yeah, I or, mean, or your doctor saying, you need a root canal now with this right. tooth, because I can right. see the infection now. Well, before, I couldn't see it because the x-ray wouldn't tell me. Right. That does happen sometimes. Okay. If you don't have anything to add, that's, that's all that I have for today. Great. Well, it's been fun. I love talking about this, these kind of issues because I find them really, you know, it's interesting. and and sometimes challenging, but to bring in some of these subtler issues within dentistry for people that are health conscious or really focused on health, it's right. important to them. Um, we find that there's 
there's a lot of people that want to hear about these things, want to know, how does my dentistry come in here? Right. How does my dentistry affect me? And, and that's the kind of work that we do. So. Yeah. And it's nice to see that you organize your practice around these principles that you're committed to. I mean, I, from what I can tell, it's not just about setting up a business with a bunch of different dentists and running patients through here. You're really committed to the principles. I mean, not just in the way you practice and the way your dental environment is, but also I think in your life as well. It's, um, I can tell you're committed to holistic principles, and that's nice to see. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, I do enjoy it, and it's more. It is a lifestyle issue, you know. For me, right. it fits my, it fits me, it fits my philosophy in life too. Right. The health, the health aspect, um, and for patients. You know, some patients really want this type of dentistry or this approach because it's a lifestyle decision for right. them too. Right. 